sit. Okay, we're here with Loda. She's about a year old, and uh, she's been with us for about five months, and she's been he here for a combination uh, between uh, three different things, upland, waterfowl, and deer tracking. Actually call that four. She's also here for shed hunting. Uh, we're focusing most of our efforts here the last few months uh, in, in actually deer tracking, but we've got a beautiful day and a beautiful setup here. We're gonna run her on a, a 90 yard watermark. The beautiful part about having your dog down at Green Acres is not only that it's got, we've got a systematic dog training program that's very consistent, um, that focuses on bringing out your dog's natural instincts. The second key element in the program is having the grounds to, uh, to be able to expose the dog to a wide variety of hunting environments. Here you can see we're down on a 10 acre swamp with lots of different land and water features and uh, it really does a great job of simulating a hunting experience. Let's do this. We're going to call a little bit and then the bird's going to come out. Mark. Load it. Loda has a had a quick, clean pickup. Here she comes with the bird. What a girl! Again, a 90 yard mark. She had to cross a uh, angled land feature. Heel. What a girl! What a girl. What a girl. Good dog. Sit. Good girl. Good. Alright, we're here with the Duke of Ducks. And we're going to do uh, about a 70 yard water retrieve here with him. One of the great parts of the Chessie is uh, their enthusiasm and courage in the water. Uh, we've had him for, oh, three weeks or so. He was with another trainer and, and uh, they did a good job, but he just needs to be brushed up. Heel. That's freaking Chessie power right there, baby. So he's going to demonstrate what we do when we combine the dog's natural instincts with our obedience program and conditioned retrieve. So he's going to he's going to be steady here when the gun goes off, the, the duck call blows, and uh, and then he's going to mark a bird at about 70 yards and go get it. Let's see what happens. Here he is, the Duke of Ducks coming out. Looks like somebody shot a hen. Oh boy. Well, you can only shoot so many of those babies in one day. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You get what I mean? <laughs> Heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good. What a dog. What a nice boy, huh? What a nice boy. Good boy. Good boy. 
Out. Sit. Ooh, shake. Okay, we're with W-I-L-L-Y. Don't want to say his name because he's jacked up and he wants to go and if I say his name, he's gone. We're going to do a uh, 70 yard mark here. And he's not really steady yet, so I'm just going to hold on to him. Mark. All right, go ahead, Nathan. Number two. Willie. Good boy. Come on, Will. Heel. 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 Good. Come on. No, heel. No. Good boy. Good boy. All right. All right. Now we're here with the lovely Dakota, who's going to demonstrate that size doesn't count. She's probably about 45 pounds, and she packs a lot of power. Super strength to weight ratio. Big leap into the water. Heel. Yeah. DT Systems H2O. 1810. Camouflage. Perfect for waterfowl. Sit. Heel. Sit. <laughs> Dakota. Dakota. Mark. Dakota. Dakota. Heel. Yeah. Where's your mark? Dakota. All right, we're gonna run Daisy Dyer on a double here with a hand-thrown go-to bird. Mark. Daisy. Open and say. Heel. Shit. Where's your mark? Good girl, Dave. Hey, oh, let's go. Good dog.
Happy dog! Heel. Heel. Yeah. Shake. All right, we got cash here. <laughs> Number one. Cash. That's a good boy, Cash. Good boy. <laughs> Cash! Here we are with Jet Christmas, and we're gonna do a 90 yard mark across the pond here. Jet! Shake. Okay, we've got Tess here, and we're going to do a 70 yard watermark across our swimming water swamp. Mark. Yes. Good girl, Tat. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Sit down. Sit. No. Okay. Not quite force fed yet. Good girl, buddy. Good. Let's try another longer mark this time. Sit. Mark. Mark. Yes. That particular mark, guys, is somewhere around 90 yards. It's definitely a mark for big dogs. As you can say, see, she's taking a pretty straight line towards the, the first angled um, berm there, which is a submerged berm. You'll see her get on top of it now. And um, you can see that she's got great instinct. Um, there's not many dogs that would, would go straight at that 
system there. There, Nathan's giving her a little help. She got lost when she got to it, but uh, you'll notice this dog has got her instincts on marking are exactly what you, you, you would what you want for a field trial or hunt test dog or just an overall excellent waterfowl dog. Uh, dog has been showed no signs of, of weakness in water, absolutely 100% courageous in all retrieving venues since she's been a little puppy. I love her. I absolutely want her as a breeding dog. Unfortunately, she's got a slight underbite. So we're going to sell her to somebody who really appreciates her.